<laughs> I know some of you have been thinking about that job that you know just isn't perfect for you. <laughs> well, join us today on Life Notes where we're going to talk about career change. Welcome to Life Notes for 17 April 2023. This topic about career change has been some many of you have mentioned to me, so let's dive right in. Are you ready for a change? <laughs> Man, I see a lot of heads shaking out there. Well, listen, don't make the jump until you've fully considered every aspect of what a career change means. Man, I'm not kidding. To find the reason you're considering or searching for this change. I mean, what's the deal? You hate your job. You don't like what you do. Uh, you're not appreciated. You don't think you earn enough money. What is, what's the real, real reason? And don't tell me not enough money. That's pure baloney. <laughs> because if you like what you're doing, you know, number one, the money isn't significant. Number two, you will earn more money in the job you love. It just naturally, that's the way it works. So think about uh, all of the aspects that a career change will actually affect in your life. Oh boy, don't jump out of the frying pan into the fire as I said, because you need to understand the skills that are transferable to this new direction in life, this new career you want. Um, a new career can be challenging, it can be exciting, it can be devastating. Oh yeah, I've counseled many, many people over the years and some jumped at the chance to get out of a job that they just hated, they just couldn't stand, blah, blah, blah. And they got to something else and they lasted like two weeks. Then they didn't have any job. They couldn't go back to the job they had because they had burned the bridges behind them. I'm so glad I'm out of here, blah. And then they went to the new job and, <laughs> oh man, and it didn't work out. So <laughs> I'm telling you, think about what's going to happen. How's your network? Now, I don't mean just, you know, finessing the, the person that has the job hiring decision on this new venture you want to do. You have to develop strategic allies. Now, what am I saying? Um, well, some people would call it the good old boys network. You know, there's nothing wrong with the good old boys network as long as you don't get a job just because you're in the good old boys network or the good old girls network. You need to get a job because you're qualified. You have the skills, you have the determination, you have the mental capacity to do the new job and the personality makeup to, make the new, the, to do the new job. Let me tell you, I love waitresses and waiters. I don't call them servers because waiters and waitresses is a time-honored profession. They're professionals. They know what they're doing. And there's not but a percentage of the population that's actually able to do that job in a superb manner. Uh, we, uh, we revisit and go again to restaurants where we get superb service. I don't care how good the food is. If you don't get good service, you don't need to go there simple as that. And we tip accordingly. Uh, I don't tip according to the check necessarily. I tip according to the service I receive. And believe me, the, the restaurants that we attend regularly, we get fantastic service. I love the waiters and waitresses there. They're great. They're professionals. And I would say they're superb in their profession. Well, get to know and develop solid relationships with those who can give you valuable information about the field you want to break into. Don't just go somewhere. 
find out about with people not at the top, with just general workers. Make friends with them, get to know them. You know, maybe you all have kids and you're interested in sports or uh, maybe you're in some kind of club, uh, a motorcycle club or whatever, that you can interact with them and find out how do they think about the job. Do they love it? Do they hate it? And get more than one opinion. <laughs> Because not everybody loves every job. And when you are going to a place, you need to find out the culture. Uh, when the person is interviewing you, don't just answer their questions. Ask them questions in a tactful way. If they say, well, you know, you'd be doing this, that, and the other. We're going to start you at blah, blah, blah of an hour, and you'll get these benefits. Well, yeah, great. That's not what I want to know. Uh, I'd like to meet who I'll be working for, who I'll be working with. Can we take a tour and talk to these people? Can I look around the area where I would be so you can get a feel for the culture? A good interviewer will do that. If they say, oh, I don't have time for that, you don't want to work there. <laughs> I'm just telling you, don't want to work there. So subscribe to our uh, newsletter, Life Notes. Uh, go to www.patreon.com slash a step above nine dollars a month you get five decades of everything i have learned in five decades 50 years of phew, workshops seminars conferences books audios videos i mean i've spent tens of thousands of dollars to learn so i can could be a better employee so i could be a better employer and uh, I, I feel like it's worth it. And I believe anybody for whom I've worked or that ha has worked for me will totally agree with you <laughs> that it really paid off. So uh, I think that uh, subscribing to my newsletter will uh, it'll help you become more satisfied with your life, uh, more successful, and even, even happier. So I'll see you next work week on Life Notes. Were the ready get prepared.